What's up guys, this is Matt from Crunchmoo. It's been a few days since I've done a video. I mean, I've been so hooked on the Xbox One and finally, we've got some real Xbox One gameplay. I mean, we did put out a video where we talked during Skype on the Xbox One, but that doesn't count. This is gonna count. Look at this great dashboard. Just everything about the Xbox One, I'm a huge fan of. You know, I've had such a great time with it since launch that, um, you know, I've been too busy to even make videos. We, we were gonna make an unboxing. You might have heard me mention that in a previous video. Decided not to. I mean, the logic being, why would you watch us unbox it on, like, some shitty iPhone camera when you can just watch a higher production quality unboxing from, you know, a major YouTube channel? So, we did that for you, because you probably wouldn't have wanted to watch it over some other people. So, and everybody knows what it looks like anyway, so why not just skip that, go straight to the games, and, you know, these are what I have on offer now. Right now for this video, gonna play some Killer Instinct. Why not? Let's launch up Killer Instinct. Let's play some games online against a couple people. Only gonna do a couple of games, but just to give you a little uh, hint of what the game's like if you were interested in it. Killer Instinct is awesome. You know, it's probably my favorite Xbox One launch title, uh, if I had to say. I mean, Rise is actually pretty good. You're gonna see some Rise a little bit later on. I think I might do a full play of it, you know, just a full walkthrough Let's Play. But, um... Don't listen to the reviews about Rise. I mean, actually, always listen to reviews, but always try it for yourself. You know, try Rise for yourself, because the story is actually pretty damn good. At least I thought so. I'm a fan of the story. But Killer Instinct, just all around, such a great game. Awesome fighting game. You know, before the Xbox One even came out, I was in a couple tournaments at the mall by my house. Uh, didn't do too well, but, um, hey, it was fun. Launch day, I didn't get an Xbox... I got an Xbox launch day, but I didn't pick it up at midnight. So for launch day, I, um was in a tournament for it, and uh, got to the second round. Lost in the second round. Hey, whatever. It, it, it was fun. Um, so, yeah, you see, in the top right corner, you get your little uh, profile banner, whatever you want to call it. Rocking the rare, rare emblem. I can't even talk today. I'm so excited about Killer Instinct. I don't know what I'm saying. Rareware. I will always represent Rare, because they're like my favorite video game company. But let's go straight to, uh, straight to online. Did I have a message or something? Um... Nope, I don't know if you can even check that, but I saw the thing popping up. Alright, Xbox Live, let's go to a rank match. Hopefully, you know, I'm going to plug my head I'm gonna plug my headset in, actually, because I don't have it in right now, and if somebody decides to talk, you're going to hear everything they say. It's not a dual commentary video with random people online, I can assure you that. Alright, let's, um, let's mute that mic and we're good. Alright, hopefully find somebody. Maybe just everybody stop playing or something like that. I'm usually a Sidira guy. I mean, you'll see I'll pick Sidira the first round, but I might mix it up a little bit. You know, the thing about any fighting game is you gotta know how to play with more than one character. But I'll go with Sidira for the first fight. Fighting uh, Kermi, he's a young blood. Now, the way the ranking system, alright, I can't even explain it to you now, so I'll tell you later. There is a ranking system for both multiplayer and for single player. Look at that, you see that? See that on the left, new rank minus butt masher. That means if I lose this fight, I will go down a rank to the lowest rank, so I don't want to lose. So a Thunder Fighter, actually I have not fought anybody using Thunder yet online, so that's pretty rare. To be honest, I've never fought anybody using Sidira either. Alright. You know, there's a lot of depth to this game, but even if you do match buttons or whatever, you can still probably do pretty good. Nice combo breaker, Kermi. Oh wow, he's pretty good as a combo breaker, I gotta mix up my attacks. So yeah, it's not necessarily, you know, it's a deep fighting game, but it's not something that would really scare off anybody, but um, the key to this game, you have to mix up your attacks, because if you don't mix up your attacks, they're going to combo break everything, because you're being too predictable. I'm sure you can hear me just wailing away at the buttons, but um, I'm sorry, that's how I play this game. He's doing pretty good, he's a good Thunder Fighter. Might have to switch to uh, Saber Wolf or something to combat Thunder. The thing is, you don't know who your opponent's going to pick until they pick him, so you got to watch out for that. Wow, he just annihilated me. Why, I'm not even going to put this on YouTube. Got to make myself look good now, don't I? Nah, I'll put it up on YouTube. Something that most people don't like is the uh, web attack from Sidira, but uh, hey, it, it works. Fucking keep it up, Sadira. Come on. Aw, oh, you prick. There we go. Probably shouldn't have used the uh, shadow move, but 
I had to get him. All right, so we're we're pretty much even right now. All right, not not for long, I don't think. Thunder is uh, one of the slower characters. Glacius is actually Thunder is pretty close, actually, but uh, Glacius is probably one of the hardest characters for me personally to master because Glacius is slow as anything. But if you can keep a distance from your opponent and you're good with Glacius, you're pretty much set. I think you can probably beat anybody in the game. Nice combo breaker, man. Gotta get some counter breakers working. There you go. There's a combo breaker for me. Now, if any of you are, are like, not... I know a lot of people who aren't fighting game fans in general, but um, if you don't know, even know the basics, this game has a fantastic... Actually, a little bit too fantastic dojo mode to really teach you the ropes and everything like that. So, do not be intimidated by the fact that it's a fighting game or anything like that. You will be able to, you know, pick it up and learn. Even if it's just the basics. All you really need to know for this game is the basics, and... Obviously, I'm not a good showcase for that because I'm losing right now, but, um, yeah, the dojo is real in-depth. It, it's a little bit too in-depth because I actually do better in the actual fight than I do in the dojo. I don't know, it's just the... Oh, my God. Oh, I couldn't keep it going. Hey, I won. I thought I was going to lose that fight. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty fun. I'll showcase some a little bit more of uh, the different characters in the game and whatnot. There are, also, if you're an achievement guy, there are a ton, a ton of achievements in this. There's 94, I believe, achievements. And if you get the $40 version, which I did get, um, that's another 1,000 gamer score for the Super Nintendo Killer Instinct that you get with it. So, you're going to be here a while trying to get all those achievements, except for the Super Nintendo version. I am not very, I mean, I'm okay at fighting games now, but fighting games in the 90s? No way. You're not going to get me to do good at that, so. I'll be, um... I'll be Orchid. Why not? She's pretty fun to use. I'm fighting a uh, Hollow Tip. He's picking. Of course, he picks the generic Jago stage because he's Jago. Makes sense. Oh, I'm hoping I rank up because. Okay, so look at the bottom. If you can see it real quickly, maybe you can pause it. The four on the left on my name. That's my single player level, and the two free is the multiplayer level. Um, the guy before me that I just fought was a three, I think, and I don't remember what his uh his level rank name was, so... But each one has a different name and everything like that. I don't quite know the significance of what free means, but... I guess they had to think of uh, all the different names for the moves, or the ranks, or whatever. Jago, you know, when I was in the, the tournaments before the launch of the game came out, I didn't even use him. Like, I used almost everybody I could to see who I was good with. Didn't use Jago, because I assumed, you know, he's a free character. I have a, a bit of a bias in, um... In, in games like fighting games or, you know, racing games and stuff like that, like Mario Kart pretty much, where balanced characters, because Jago is the balanced character of the game. He can do everything. He's an all-around character, and I don't know, I just feel like... Does anybody really pick Mario or Luigi in Mario Kart? I mean, honestly, no one picks them. So, that's just a little biased. But I have used Jago, obviously, because I got the uh, free version of the game, and that's he's the only character you get from the beginning. Ah, oh, man, I had contact with that. Come on. Jago is one of the best characters in the game. He's so fun to use. It's, it's, what the fuck just happened? All right, slow down. Sorry, I didn't mean to stand by, bro. I like to give people their space in between rounds. I'm not one of those assholes who jumps around and everything. How did he not get me with that? Oh, that would have been so good if I caught him. That was a nice move. All right, we got a good fight in our hands here. Again, what the hell? The servers are unstable with my level of skill. Come on. Oh man! Sweet. The longer combo... That was only a 17 hit combo, mind you. So the longer the combo you get... Uh, with an ultra combo, the longer the guy, the announcer, will scream ultra. You know, I heard some guy got like a, a 150 something hit combo or something like that. The guy must have been screaming for like a minute straight. I mean, it's ridiculous. Alright, come on, let's rank up. I want to rank up during this video. Hopefully I, I, I can do that. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like I'm on a roll right now. I'll probably do one more fight, actually. Uh, let's see. Trying to think of the, I don't like to use Saberwolf because Saberwolf, while a very good character, is the character of choice for most of like the people, most of the skilled people, like in tournaments and stuff. I can really see them using Saberwolf a lot. The guy is just a flat-out monster. But um, 
Let, let's let's look. Uh, Jago, I don't really want to use because he's the free character, so you could just try him if you want. Glacius, I suck with. Thunder, I kind of suck with too. Saber, I might as well just fucking use Saber Wolf. Um, I'll use Saber Wolf. Why not? At his alchemical lab. That's his uh, stage. Let's see who this guy's using. Also Saber Wolf. How did I know? All right, he's exactly the same rank as me in both aspects, except I have a much cooler picture in the background. And he's not even customizing his shit. He's probably, like, buying stages and stuff, but I like to customize. That's my bread and butter. I'm a customizable kind of guy, even though he has the, the mask for Saber Wolf, and I don't, but I really want that. Yeah, the Saber Wolf's prisoner outfit is pretty damn sick. So, if this guy is any better than me at Saber Wolf, which he probably is because I don't use Saber Wolf too often, he's going to win. Uh, he's probably going to win. <laughs> but I'm not going to write myself out of the books right now. Just run right into him. Why don't I? Oh, I should have used Glacius. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to do the upward swipe. That would have really been the end of me. Although, he's doing a pretty good job of ending me right now. Oh, come on. Going for that grab. Sabrol's grab is the most powerful grab in the, in the entire game, I'm pretty sure. Glacius is pretty good, too. There's a counter breaker. Uh-oh. I thought that was uh, one of his moves. Oh, I could do the same thing. How am I coming back? Nice swipe. saber has got a great anti-air if, if you know how to use it. How did I come out of that with the win in the first round? That's ridiculous. Shouldn't underestimate my skills, I guess. Oh, he got me. We're exactly even right now. Come on, come on, blue saber wolf. Beat the red saber wolf. Come on. Yeah, there's the throw. Look at how much health that did. That one hit. Shit. Ah, oh, no! I left myself wide open for that. God. Oh, nice counter breaker, man. Damn. Come on, come on, get that, yes. Oh, shit's getting intense now. This is a great fight. It's a great fight. Oh, no, he's looking good, he's looking good. He's looking like he's going to end it. Oh, boy, I'm scared. Come on. Oh, he had me in lockout. I couldn't do anything about it. That was a good fight, boss. 1308, if that's your real name. Yeah, see that? I went down a little bit. Apparently I have six losses and five wins. That's better than I'd say that's worse than I thought I had. Alright, I'll go back to the menu. Well I'm not gonna play, you know, every character and all that stuff. Look at that, I have 1,365 KP. That means I can buy some shit. So that's sweet. But yeah, that's Killer Instinct. You know, I might have some more videos. Maybe I'll play with some of the Crunch Moo guys, maybe Tom and stuff like that. We'll have some more videos. I'm actually today I think we might have a few more Xbox One videos. So if you want to see more Xbox One games. Keep it here at Crunchmoo. If you like Killer Instinct and you haven't picked it up, I mean, it's free to try. So if you have an Xbox One and you haven't tried it, try this game. It's awesome. It's probably my favorite Xbox One launch game. And I uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me how much I suck, or I'm good because that will boost my ego a lot. And uh, have a great day.